Hey, Coach, so glad you made it here. Um, I want you to go over and check out teachhoops.com up here, down here. It's a great community. Um, it really is. There's free resources. There's a newsletter. There's stuff that comes out all the time. I do not think you'll be disappointed. Go over and check it out. 14-day free trial. Um, it's a great thing. And enjoy the video. Thanks. Welcome, everybody. Happy holidays. Um, no matter what you um, cherish this time of year, I hope you're having a wonderful and warm <laughs> uh, winter and holiday season. Um, so sorry about yesterday's podcast not going out. It was Christmas. So I'm, the next two weeks, this week and next week, they'll be going out on Tuesday rather than on Monday. Um, that's just the way it's going to work with the holidays and spending time with family and figuring out all of those kind of things. A um, couple of things. First of all, make sure you go over and check out teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better. I can't imagine a better time to go join teachhoops. 14-day free trial. It's winter break. Maybe you're on, you need to get away from the kiddos or, or the husband or wife and uh, need to go in your, and, and, and watch some basketball and, and join our community. I can't imagine a better time to go over and join teachhoops.com. Um, go over and check it out. Uh, so that's the first thing. Second thing is if you're liking these podcasts, I would really ask that you go over and subscribe and like, um, that is so important to us. Um, we're going to be bringing on a sponsor second, uh, in the 2018 year, pretty excited about it. I'm going to, I'm going to leave that kind of back here and we can talk about that when it gets a little bit closer, but, um, so if you can do that, it really helps us out a lot. Leave a, hopefully a five star and some nice comments. Um, I know I've gotten a comment about my audio. I'm working on that. <clears throat> Part of it might be me, not the actual audio. Um, and then the third thing is I'm going to talk about some mental training, some things we do with our players. Um, there is a PowerPoint for this. There's a couple of ways. If you're, not on my, if you're not on my mailing list, you're probably not going to get this. Um, I will put something in the show notes down below. Um, that you can click and go and go download this this PowerPoint. Use it with your own teams, which would be a good thing. That would be one way. Or you can email me at steve at teachhoops dot com, steve at teachhoops dot com, and I will uh, I will get you this. So um, this is going to be kind of fluid. And and the reason I'm telling you about that is um, I'm going to be referring to things on the PowerPoint on the presentation. So if you want to go and look at it, or you want to again use it. Um, it's, a, it's a great thing and I'll be sharing my screen here and doing some things with that. So it just makes it a little bit easier um, for all of you that are kind of doing that. Okay, so here we go. Um, so mental training. We spend, you, you'd be surprised how much time um, we spend with our teams talking about different things. Um, mental training is a big thing for us. Um, and I'm not sure why this was orange <laughs> for those who are, that are not listening but are are watching this at some later time. Um, I don't know, it must have been Halloween or something. But, you know, why do you do mental training? And, and I have a relatively, for those of you that don't know, I have a really young team this year. We lost uh, my, my five senior starters last year. We lost first time in 30 years. I had five seniors. So we've been doing more of this. Um, with, with this leadership and mental training and stuff that we have in, in Teach Hoops, um, I've done enough reading that I don't run these. Um, so if you have some specific questions, I can get to the answers to these. One of my assistant coaches, Coach Olson, actually runs um, runs our leadership, runs our our try. And and the reason is they hear my voice enough. Um, as this is kind of binging off, um, they hear my voice. They hear me all the time talking, and they need to hear a different voice. And there's a little bit more freedom. I don't know, maybe two week or two ago, I sat outside, so I sat outside the room and I was grading some papers or something while they were doing this. And it was good. It was good for me to kind of listen to it. And that's one of the reasons I wanted to share this with all of you. Um, why do we do mental trainings? Well, you know, it, it's about, you know, problem on the court, you know, something happens, you, a bad foul, you get a charge call, you think, you know, you're not shooting well, you know, how can you correct those things and how can you move on from it um so you know we always tell the kids you know fix it you know I, I i tell the guys stop it you know get over it move on all those kind of things and and the thing is we tell them that but we don't tell them how to do it um clean your room <laughs> but then we have to show them how to clean their room 
correct? So it's the same thing with basketball players. We have to, you know, if we want them to fix something on the court, we have to, to reiterate what we want them to fix and how we want them to fix it. You know, there, there's not enough strategies out there for them. Um, so this is a lot of this stuff is from Spencer Wood. He's a psychologist for the Bulls, Celtics, some other, some other teams. Um, so the three, first of all, there's a couple of things um, that we really want to talk about. 90, the 90% versus the 10%. Most people have problems and they don't, they don't figure out what they want to fix them. I and this is, this is the businessman in me. The 10 percenters figure out this is the problem and then how do I fix it and then how do I pivot? My brother is a prime example of that. He's owned a ton of businesses. A lot of them have been very successful. Some of them have not. But he's learned to pivot. He's learned to, you know, here's my failure. What can I do with it? And that's a, that's, a good, that's a good life lesson for them in school, you know. So I didn't do well in this quiz. What can I do to fix it? <laughs> so the next time I'll do better on it. And the people that are able, that 10% that are able to do that, are the ones that are driving around the BMWs, one of the, one of the truth, for the most part, or they're really lucky, um, or they have a big trust fund. Um, but, and the, and, the, and the strategy that we talk about is you flush it, you fix it, and you forget about it. And if you went up to ask one of my players right now, because we did this training a couple of weeks ago, they would know what flush, fix, and forget is. They would know what, what, what I'm referring to. And um, it's pretty funny. Uh, so we'll go through those three stages. Um, we'll talk about kind of a, a team fun bonding thing we do at the end. And then we'll just kind of as a little caveat, a little, a little extra for you, a little golden nugget I refer to him as. Um, we'll talk about how we talk about shot selection with our team and uh, kind of how we go from there. So the first one is flush it. So literally it's what it means. 10 steps before um, you have 10 steps before something major and 10 steps after a mistake are the most important. So what do you do when you throw the ball away and turn it over in the fourth quarter? Um, you know, you have to have a plan for your body language. We've all sat in the gyms in the middle school and elementary schools in the summer and high school and college and the MBA and watch people with really poor body language. Um, so we call it the 10 step rule. You have 10 steps before something major, 10 steps after, you know, what are you going to do afterwards? And we, we, we do the two clap theory, you know, so I'm upset and then I move on. Um, so you have 10 steps to fix it and then you're done. You got to let it go. You got to flush it down the toilet. You got to be done with it and you move on with your life. Um, you don't want to give your advantage to the opponent. You don't want them to know that, that they've gotten to you, that that half court trap has gotten to, to, got, to gotten to you. Um, you don't want to know that, you know, they said something to you as walking in the free throw line. You missed it. They got to you. You can't do it. You got to flush it. You got to let it go. And then I have a nice little, when I send this to you, there's a nice little video over here. Um, of uh, and then and here I, I can turn the volume off. You can tell I'm doing this live here, but anyway, it's it's Lance Stevenson. He's an NBA player. His body language, how horrible it is. Um, it is not a pretty sight. Let me just tell you that. Um, so interesting. Watch it. You can go. You, you I I have it. You can probably find twenty other ones on on YouTube to to kind of talk, to show but poor body language um but we'll just show you that one all right so hold on <laughs> people that are watching this it's like all right i i'm a tab addict um i do realize i have a problem um when i open chrome i end up with like 35 tabs um so it's something i'm working on i'm trying to get better at it but i tend to have a lot of them um anyway so moving on hold on i gotta click back on this uh ooh. All right, there we go. So we flush it. Mm, why is it not moving for me? All right, next one is fix it. So you have to use the five senses. You have to use smell. You have to, you have to, you have to abstract in your own mind, how are you going to fix this problem? So you can't wait until you have that turnover. You can't wait until the last second to do it. Um, in your own mind, you have to see it. You have to smell it. You have to feel it. You have to use all of your senses, see it. Um, you have to use all five of your senses and you have to close your eyes. And we do a small, like 20 second kind of activity where, okay, imagine the best thing that's happened to you in the basketball court. And I make them kind of sense it and smell it. You can smell the gym. You can smell the sweaty players. You can smell your girlfriend if you run by or whatever it is. So you try to activate all those senses. 
and then we do a negative one. And I just want them to kind of get to that place. You have to go through the stage of this. Now, this is not fix it at the time. This is fix it before, fix it after. Um, but how, what, how do you work your way out of it? How do you, how do you go from flushing it, it's gone, to fixing it? Now, the, the, the flushing has to happen at the actual point of the game. The fixing it has to happen um, later. You know, maybe when you're watching film or you're doing something with coach or you're watching the film at home. Excuse me, I just hit the, hit the mic. Um, so how are you going to fix the problem that, that's obviously happening? And then the big one is forget it. Um, you got to move on. Um, I, you know, when I used to coach my son's little league team, it was the, um, I always w referred to him as goldfish. You know, goldfish has a three second memory. I tell them basically, hold on, I'm going to turn my watch off here. Um, I say, you got to fix it as fast as humanly possible. Um, that is the one thing they always go off. Um, so you got to forget it. Um, your inner voice has, and you got to have something. So I always said, you know, follow the one. When I would go to the free throw line, I always had an inner voice. I was a good free throw shooter. Um, and I always tell them when, so you flushed it. You're not going to fix it at the point, but you're going to move on. And then you're going to forget it because we got a game to go win. Um, so, hey, it's, it's okay. We're going to do this. Um, or, you know, I, I play my best when it matters the most. Or I'm a clutch. I'm clutch, you know. Um, so I would say stuff to myself. I can think of things when I go to shoot a big free throw, you know, or I, I hit a couple in college. I hit a couple like half court, three quarter court shots. I remember coming out of timeout. I'm going to hit this. I'm going to hit this. I got this, you know, they're 50 feet, but I, you know, I felt like I was going to get it. Um, it's the law of dominant thought. You basically want, um, that, that positive thought, that good thought, all those things kind of pulsating through your mind. Um, so again, I'm going to stop here. We're about halfway through. Make sure you go over and check out teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better. Um, and again, in this will, this, I, you know, I'm giving, this is my, this is my holiday gift to you. This is one of many things that we have on, on our, on our site, but um, it's a great thing. Like I said, great time of year to go over and check it out. www.teachhoops.com for basketball coaches who want to get better. And I, you know, I'm always getting better. You know, I'm, I'm tweaking everything we always do and, and we've won a lot, but when you, you know, if, for those of you that are watching, look at all the books behind me, you know, some, of them, some of them are Disney books, but most of them are basketball books or leadership books or business books or things like that. All right. So I going back to forget it. Um, so I had, and on the bottom of this, you'll see number four, Snapchat, you're saying, you're saying privately to me, no sharing. So, so that's my assistant coach again, running this. He's on Snapchat. I am not cause I'm old. Um, but anyway, so he knows that. So he can, you know, maybe we're coming out of a timeout. He can, he can remind them, you got this, you got this, your clutch, your clutch, you know, um, I play my best when it matters the most or whatever you're needing to say, he can remind them to, to forget it. So again, flush it down the toilet, fix it, which is something you have to do throughout the season and then forget it, move on. You know, I, I, I got this, you know, you, you're at the, you're at the free throw line. You got to hit one or two and you missed the first one. What are you going to do to, to forget that one and move on? Cause you're flushing your fix and your forget have to be in like seven seconds. So again, I think as an educator and as a teacher, it's very important for us to teach them the proper way to do this. Um, you know, that's just, that's our, that's our role. Uh, and I think it's, it's an important thing to do. All right. Then what we did was <laughs> we did what we referred to as we broke the team. We broke the, we have a free throw ladder, which I can talk about some other time, but basically I always know who's at the top of the free throw ladder. It's a free throw contest. We do it in practice anyway. Um, so it says in the top four, three, throw so what happens is we get, to, you basically have a draft. Um, it's a 20 second draft clock. Boom, 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 boom. Who do you want? Um, I have them all on lace or shoes. I've done this a couple of ways. It's basically a relay race. You've got to tie your shoes and you got to go take your partner. You got to go tie your shoes. You got to take your partner. Sometimes I have them pay, I have them tie other people's shoes in their teams, depending if it's even number and things like that. It's a basic relay race. It's crazy. We're tying shoes. It's a team building thing, but it's so great. And I call it the lace race for wings. Why is it a big? Cause they want the wings. <laughs> They don't care about tying their shoes. They don't care about the little game that coaches play. And they want to, they want wings. So what we're doing is we're putting them in the, the stressful things. We're talking about, okay, how do you forget it? How do you move on? What's the stressful? How does that stress feel? Um, 
winning team will get to go out and in the bottom. And again, you can change this to the PowerPoint, but it says winning team goes out for wings after Tuesday's practice. It's a way of bringing them together. It's a fun thing. You know, um, I'm filming this the day after I'm doing this that day after Christmas, we just came back, we had a practice and we took them to play laser tag. Um, all that kind of stuff is the stuff that not only is important as a coach, not only important as an educator, not only important to teach them life lessons. It's the stuff that they're going to remember. It's, it's the reason that we do this. Um, so that's the last thing. And then, oops. And then the last thing is, um, you know, remembering the hype level, you know, how, and, and I left it as hype level because I, you should have seen this room. It was in my, it was in my math room. It was crazy. I was, I was 300 yards away and I could hear them. It was after school. It was like five o'clock at night or something, five thirty. And, um, but I wanted them to feel, what does that feel like? What does that feel like playing in front of a pack gym? What does that feel like? What's that hype level? So how can we control that? What can we do to do that? You know, they're fighting for wings basically at that point. All right, then the last thing that we did, um, and sometimes I'll jump in on this. It, it really depends. I let coach do a lot of it, um, is shot selection. So I do shot selection. We go through a game. Um, I think at the time of this recording, we're seven and one, tied for first. Lost a tough one right before break. Had the, had the lull that you normally have. But anyway, we went through that game, and we basically did shot selection. We went from playing some prairie and taking great shots, not taking great shots. But anyway. Um, and then we rank them. So nine is an uncontested layup. Seven is a great shot. If it's uncontested, missing any of those. So a seven is a great shot. It's uncontested. It's in range. And it's on balance. If you miss any of those, it goes down. So you can go, you could have a seven, you can have a five, you can have, a, excuse me, you can have a three or you can have a one and we rank them. And I literally can yell on practice. That was a three. That was a seven. Oh, that was a nine. Good job. Way to attack the rim. You know, those kind of things. So they know our nine, seven, five, three, one ranking system. Um, and then the reason we go every other one is it leaves a little room. That was an eight. That was an eight. That wasn't, that was not an uncontested layup, but it was a good shot. It was a great shot. You were uncontested. You were in range. You're on balance, but it was a four footer. That's an eight, you know? So it leaves you the, that's why we do the odds rather than every number. Um, it leaves us as kind of teachers and educators a little, little, little leeway there to kind of put them in the thing. So what we've talked about today, we've talked about mental training. We've talked about teamwork. We've talked about the hype level. We've talked about shot selection. We did all of this by one of my assistants, 15, 20 minutes. Unbelievable how good it is, um, to bring the team together, to, 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 um, to make them more cohesive. It's, it's, it, it was something I would highly recommend that you as a coach, you know, take this change. If you don't like orange, change the color, change the PowerPoint, use it. Um, if you make any tweaks, if you do anything like that, what I would ask is that you share um, so that I can make my presentation better. I'm learning too. Um, if you find anything better with mental training or things like that, and you'd like to share it with me, I'd love to hear Steve at teachhoops.com. Um, Steve at teachhoops.com would be great. And um, I'm always looking to to improve my things and and again this is this is a small piece of what's in um our community you know our community is so many different things for so many different people some people love the community some people like picking my brain some people like just all the resources the i don't even know hundreds of hours of of resources of videos they like watching the hall of fame coaches some people like the mini lessons some people like the newsletters there is something for everybody it's a great time to go check it out um, 14 day free trial, www.teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better. Stay warm. Um, we're headed off to South Carolina for the Farm Bureau Classic. I think we're going to go back next year to Florida because it's a lot warmer than it is in South Carolina. Um, but I hope everybody has a, has a great new year. And again, this next, next week's, uh, next week's podcast will be on, um, will be on Tuesday. Not on the not on Monday or not on our normal first. We'll be on the second. Then we'll get back into our Monday routine, which I think everyone tends to like. Um, so again, if you have any questions, um, you have anything that you want to to talk to me about, let me know. Um, and have a great holiday season.